Hello and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily show where we show you one cool thing which we are testing out here in the PC Mag Labs. I'm Sasha Segan, this is Victoria Song. This is a robot vacuum that we will get to shortly. If you are watching us live on Facebook, Welcome. Uh, please uh, ask questions, make comments. Uh, Social Jose is here, uh, standing in for Pete, and he will read out your questions and comments to us, and we can have a discussion about anything in the world of technology, as uh, we are we are wise and well traveled here at PC yes, Mag. Yes, very well traveled. Yes, indeed. We have we have full passports, full of information and places and things. <laughs> um, but if you are watching us later on YouTube, then you're about to see me sneeze probably, and you can rewind on YouTube and watch me sneeze over and over again. That's the thing you can do on YouTube oh. that you can't do on oh. Facebook. Can you rewind the Facebook stream? Uh, you can. Oh, you okay, can just, okay. You can just like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Backwards. Okay, so you can you can rewind both of them. I'm okay with that. In any case, please like and subscribe, and uh, and we have a new one cool thing every day. Consider coming over to Facebook 10 a.m. Eastern for the live show. I seem to have headed off the sneeze. I feel good about that. Yeah, I was about to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really kind of pollinated in New York this week, isn't it? Oh, I I don't suffer from hay fever. Oh, either. okay. It's like my one superpower. I, I am. I don't. I am Pollen. very, I am very polleny, which uh, gets to the point that I probably need to be keeping my house as clean as possible right now, yes. which means that the two hundred and nineteen dollar, two hundred twenty dollar, really, uh, two hundred twenty dollar Eufy Robovac Eleven S. You, you all know I have to keep looking at the product names. Uh, <laughs> UV Robovac 11S might be an affordable solution for me, right? Yeah, it's actually one of the most affordable uh, Robovacs out there. Um, it's under $300, which is what we consider to be our budget Robovac uh, price range. Um, and it's very much like its predecessor, the UV Robovac 11, which, we, which was an editor's choice for us. Um, this is slightly thinner. It is the thinnest Robovac we've mm. tested. It's mm -hmm. uh, 2.7 inches thick. Usually they're around 3, 3.1 inches thick. So this means it'll get under almost any low clearance furniture. So when you have. say thin, you mean tall? Yes. Okay, yes. okay. Yes, uh, yeah. Oops, my bad. So it is the shortest Robovac. It is Robovac. the shortest um, Robovac uh, that we've ever tested. Can this get under a couch? Yes. Well, <gasps> under most couches. Um, if you have a can very, it, very, 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 very like. Can it get under an IKEA couch? So I have an IKEA couch at home. It cannot get under my IKEA oh. couch because my IKEA couch has like no clearance oh. at all. But for most couches, it will be able to get underneath. Okay. It's able to get underneath most beds uh, and oh. bed frames. Uh, so it can reach a lot of different places, which is a huge plus. Mm -hmm. um, the major downside downside is that it does not come with an app. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is what we call a smart dumb robot or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, there's no app to control it, which means, you know, conversely, setup is really easy. You just charge it and it's ready to go. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't come with peripherals like uh, virtual barriers, which some come with. You know, they're like these little beacons or a strip of magnetic tape, which will tell the Robovac not to go into a You can't prevent room. it from going into the kitchen. You can't prevent it from going into the kitchen. That is mm -hmm. correct. You'll have to, like, shut it into a room if mm -hmm. you want it to only clean one room. Um, oh, wait, but, wait. Nope. Oh, false no. Okay. Alarm. False Keep alarm. Going. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, it's a pretty, it's a pretty solid product. It's really good at navigating um, for a random cleaner because you know there's two types of Robovacs. You have the methodical cleaners that are just like do 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 do, and you can just kind of. But this one's just like bing going. bong bing. It's, it's bang, like bing zing. bong zing zong zang. But it actually covers your entire room by zing zong zanging. Randomly? Yes, because okay. it's got a really good runtime. So it's about 90 to 100 minutes of battery life, which is uh -huh. what we like to see. That's enough for most uh, single floor. Uh, of a home or a just an apartment, mm -hmm. so that's enough time to clean that. Um, it also has this thing called Boost IQ, so if it's on like a hardwood floor and then gets onto a carpet, it'll up the suction mm -hmm. so that it'll clean the the. Mm -hmm what's it called, the carpet better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then also, like we've noticed that it's improved its navigation from the 11, so sometimes it'll it'll come up against a thing and be like, oh, I see a thing coming. I'm not gonna bump into it, which means your furniture is safe. Nice. Because I've had some uh, lower uh, cost uh, Robovacs who knocked over dining room How about chairs. your cats? Are your cats safe? Your cats are pretty much safe. My dog looked at this thing and, you well, actually my dog looks at most Robovacs like, yeah, no, bye. 
And then, you know, I put the dog And let's the note that Victoria's dog has seen more Robovax <laughs> than possibly any other dog in America. Like, this dog <laughs> actually, has seen actually, more different true. kinds of That's Robovax. really true. She really has. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Let's, let's, let's take a question. Robovax, dogs, anything else? What happens when your dog poops? Oh, everyone Every always asks time. this. They always ask what happens there is, when the dog poops. There is no Robovac that can deal with mushy messes. No. No. They're not equipped for that. No. Um, the one time that... Also, who are you people with your animals <laughs> shitting all over your houses every day? Okay, <laughs> train these dogs. Take them for a walk, for God's sake. Accidents happen. My dog is trained, and sometimes she... Well, my dog likes to revenge poop. Oh, okay. uh, so you know, if, if she feels unloved, she's she's a very sassy lady. Okay. But in any case, uh, usually, well, we'll just go into the poo spiel again. Uh, again. Poo, you have to empty the dustbin, so you're not immune from having to clean the poop. It'll clog things. Yeah. I don't know about what size dog you have, but it'll clog the robo. Yeah, there's just they're, no. They're not meant to clean wet spills unless they're a mop. Yeah, there's there's no automated there's no automated way in look, the universe right look, now is, to deal with is, that kind of mess. This is where where the mess is going in. You will have to clean this. Those brushes. <laughs> you will have to clean that. You have to you have to maintain your RoboVac once a month anyway. But like it's that would be true about a normal vac too. Yes, you don't want to vacuum poop. You don't. It's, okay. I don't care if you've got a Dyson or a Eureka or like, we you know. We're not at the point where you can have a little robot that goes Oh, this is a poo. Let me pick up the poo no. and put it in the poo receptacle. No. That's not a thing that we have it's yet. It's not a technology that is possible at this time. I think the so only robot. So if ShopVac came out with a RoboVac, it'd be able to... No, be... because the poop would still coat the inside of the ShopVac. That's what we're saying. What we're saying is ShopVac, which is made for wet spills, okay, you still have to clean it and rinse it out afterwards. And so the issue is, yes, it would adequately suck up the poop, and then the poop would get all over the inside of the ShopVac, and then there you'd be at your sink with a sh shit-covered ShopVac. Here, I'm like spitting because this is so disgusting, okay? The like, only robots yeah. that can clean poop are the kitty litter robots. That's it. That's it. And even though those don't really that's it. Should I should I deploy the cheez -Its? Yes. Oh okay. well. Because it doesn't have an app, you can control it with this handy dandy remote. You can just schedule it. Scheduling scheduling options are somewhat limited for this little this little guy. It can only do once a day. It's a daily schedule at the same time per day. You're not gonna be able to go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or just Tuesday, Thursday, or just whatever. You can't uh, do that. Mm -hmm. It's simple, it's not a huge trade-off considering how much uh, it costs. Mm -hmm. But you do have this handy dandy remote that'll help you with the different modes. Uh, you can direct it, you mm -hmm. can talk about uh, the intensity of suction and What's all the that. charger like? The charger, Is there a so, cradle? Yes, so all of these guys come with a little dock. It's back at my desk. Uh, one thing, uh, because these are uh, infrared sensors mm -hmm. and because when you have it this way, um, the docks act as like this giant tractor beam. Mm -hmm. So if you have a very large home and the robot wanders very far away, there's a good chance he's not gonna find his way home, which is really sad, and that is so something we experienced with this. So something I think that we need to point out for people who aren't Robovac experts is that these low-cost Robovacs are not mapping your house. These they are not mapping your they house. They actually don't know where they are. They don't. So the way it works is that it's reading um, just this infrared sensor from the dock, which is why they recommend that you put a dock in a really clear area so that the Robovac can find it again. So this, this little guy got tested in our labs and he, he, he died away from his home. Has this particular Robovac gotten lost? Yes. Okay. Yes, he, he got lost in your office, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> Under Alex's desk. Oh. And I was like, where did he go? Yeah, I know he didn't get lost under my desk because there's still two old pieces of cheese popcorn and a cough drop under there. Okay, and so you didn't get lost. You yeah. didn't make it that far. Yeah. You didn't make it that far. It's okay. It's okay. 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 We found you. That's what matters. Okay. But uh, so when we do Robovax on the show, we do like to show you what Robovax do. And in this case, I have this Chez it. bag of cheese its that we got from the 25 cent vending machine. And um, let's cheese it. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Cheesy. Okay. Look at her go. Yep. 
and then because we can tell her to come back. Ah. So you're gonna turn her around manually because otherwise she would just like go off to right. the edge of the lab and bounce, right? Yeah, so that's the thing about um, auto mode is that mm -hmm. you're basically doing it for maintenance. Uh, a lot of people ask, uh, if I have a RoboVac, do I ever need to have a manual vacuum again? Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is that if you only clean once in a blue moon, yes, you will. And you will need to take care of most big spills yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, but for maintenance or just like if something happens and you're okay with the spot clean mode and just mm -hmm. watching a, a little buddy clean up a mess, mm -hmm. then yeah, RoboVacs are a pretty good alternative. And now I have noticed how RoboVac is bouncing off my foot. Yeah. Yeah. So that she, they do bounce, but if you notice, mm -hmm. it's a very gentle tap. Yeah, it's yeah. really not going to ruin any furniture that you have. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are a bit more like, Dong! And the whiskers are sticking out pretty nicely to get uh, to, to get things that are in corners. Yes. Now we're not getting every cheese it bit on the first pass. On the first pass, no. Okay, so but you do need to do multiple is, passes. That is normal for most RoboVacs. Okay. Bring okay. her on back. A little adventurous buddy. How, how, how do you gender your RoboVacs? Um, I, I sit with them for a half second, mm -hmm. and then uh, whatever energy they give me, mm -hmm. that's how I decide. What it's, they are. it's like you're a chicken farmer. It's yeah. Like, it's like with yeah. chicks. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So this one, I forgot what I named this one, which mm -hmm. means I'm a very bad RoboVac mom and or I just have so many Robo And it wasn't it RoboVac Mother's Day over the it, weekend? It was. It yeah, was. Yeah. They didn't get me anything. But, you know, they didn't have an uprising. So I'll, I'll count that as a gift. Mm -hmm. I, I, I agree. As a parent, basically, every weekend that your children do not rise up against you is a it, gift. Yeah, it is a yeah, gift. Yeah. It is. Um, any more questions out there? No. OK, so as you can see, the oh, she's very uh, you've, quiet. She's very quiet. Yes, for and that is one of the big pluses that you said in the review for the yes. Eufy Robovac 11S, right? Yeah. Uh, short and very quiet. Very quiet. Um, if you have the TV on, you will not hear this Robo Robovac, which is also why I had a hard time finding her in this office because mm -hmm. uh, she was too quiet. <laughs> okay. Okay. But so for people who, yeah, so for for people who don't want to deal with a lot of noise, this is a good choice. This is a good choice. You can clean, have the TV on, and you won't have to raise the volume. <laughs> okay. So, who is she competing with in the sub-250 RoboVac? Zone? So, this is a really good RoboVac, however, um, she's competing with the EchoVax uh, D-Bot N79S, which for $10 more gets you, this was the one that when it cleaned, it was like, oh, this is really powerful. Oh yeah, so that, we were using the Cheetos for that yeah, one, right? So that's it, it's got a slightly more powerful clean, and it comes with an app, a very simple app, but an app, and mm -hmm. Alexa and Google Home compatibility, oh, I believe. Oh, the Google Home would do it for so, me. So, you know, this doesn't have that compatibility and is only $10 less, so right. if you're thinking about that. So, I, I, I think I think what makes this, we'll take a question in a sec, what, what makes this uh, a buy for someone, as you were saying in your review, is really the height. The height? The quiet, if, mm -hmm. you, if you live in an apartment with paper thin walls mm -hmm. and you really don't need something that's super, like, super duper smart, then this is like a really great budget option for you. Mm -hmm. It's super quiet, it cleans, it's got a long battery life. It's just the basics of what you need, uh, especially if you don't have Alexa, if you don't mm -hmm. have a, like, We have a little bit around setup. here, by the way, just like by my, okay. feet, by my foot here. Uh, okay. Let's take another question. How often do you have to clean the vacuum out? So, um... They recommend that you clean it out after every like 90 minute clean. So then, you know, that's fine. Uh, the dustbin is quite large. Uh, mm -hmm. We can actually show you what the yeah, dustbin once, looks once like. Yeah, once we've got all our, we've got all our cheese its in there. Is, is all the cheese its in there? And yeah. is that it's usually good. pretty standard when it comes to other so, RoboVacs? So some RoboVacs actually have quite small dustbins, which we count as a negative in our reviews because it does mean that you're gonna have to clean them out more frequently. Um, sometimes that means you may have to, in one session, clean it out multiple times. Um, so dustbin sizes are not standard, uh, despite what you might think. Some are top loading, which is easy removal. Uh, some are, like this one, rear, uh, rear loading. Um, but yeah, in terms of maintenance, if you really want to be clean about it, after every long clean, I think it's a pretty good pretty Let's good pick her up and see what you got. Let's see what you got. Okay. Let's see what you got in your butt. Yeah. What is in your butt? Check the diaper. Oh. Oh, whoa, that oh. is solid. Yeah, that is that is a solid amount of dirt. This, oh, dear. This is a solid amount of stuff. And 
So let's see. Ooh, uh, ooh, gross, 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 gross. Oh so my. So this is a HEPA filter for, my, oh um, for allergies. So you do get allergen dusting. It's like, ooh. This, this carpet always sheds a ridiculous amount. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised there's any carpet left, really. Yeah. 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 But yeah, we got all the cheese its Yay! Yay! Any more questions out there before uh, Victoria goes and uh, cleans the dustbin? Okay, so the Eufy Robovac 11S. It is four stars. It is an excellent, low-cost robot vacuum. Uh, however, not our editor's choice in this category. Yeah, that is the Echovax uh, D-Bot N79S, but this is still a really good value. If you want something short and quiet, that is what you got here. Thank you all for watching. This has been one cool thing from PCMag.com. Uh, if you're watching us on Facebook, we will be back at 10 a.m. Eastern tomorrow with another cool thing. If you're watching us on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Return to our YouTube page on a daily basis, five days a week. We have another one cool thing, or consider coming over to Facebook to participate in the live discussion. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you soon.